Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production star on myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is your reputation precedes you. One thing that you must understand as you're trying to develop in any stage of your life, whether it be as a person, a fighter, community activist, etc., your reputation can either help you or hinder you. Now, there's some factors to this because when you start trying to carve out your niche, people are paying attention. This can be your supporters, people who possess a curiosity about you, and definitely your detractors. And I can outline some examples of this. You have the case of martial artist and actor Bruce Lee. When he had to go to Hong Kong and start work with Raymond Chow and Golden Harvest Studios, the perception, and it was an egregious one, was that he was just a Chinese actor that really had very little fighting expertise. Some people held on to this. And this was based off of his work with the Green Hornet and also when he did the show Here Comes the Bride. So he had to show people that I have a reputation too. And this was long before I started doing things in America. Or many of you who are old enough remember me as a child actor. He was a very accomplished martial artist. And an example of this was, I think this was the time of Way of the Dragon, which was known as Return of the Dragon. And one of Bruce Lee's students was there for this. There was a individual that called himself climbing Bruce Lee's fence where his family was at. The students seen this and amongst martial fighters, what it ended up happening is that he stamped his foot, which means that he was issuing a challenge. First of all, from an occult perspective, know this, you should always know your opponent. This could be from physical combat, but it's definitely from metaphysics. Bruce Lee was a Sagittarius, but his moon is in Scorpio. So what does that mean with the moon in Scorpio? That means that there was some traumatic event either in your family or circumstances relating to your birth and definitely an impending traumatic event that will happen in your existence. Now, fire sign. We already know that, yes, Sagittarius has a sunny position, but if you get on the bad side of a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, it is over. So the student seeing what had happened, Bruce Lee came and literally put this man in spin cycle and bloodied his face. Literally. And Bruce Lee's student really had to kind of like give Bruce Lee to calm down because he would have killed him. So you have to know the metaphysics of who you're dealing with. So he was more than just an actor. And then some people think that so-called clout chasing is a newer phenomenon. No, clout chasing has always existed. Oh, I defeated the great Bruce Lee. No, what had happened is that you got sandwiched and your face was turned into oatmeal. That is what happened. Another example is Aleister Crowley. Crowley wanted to live up to the wickedest man in the world mantra. This came really to bite him, literally, because he was kicked out of Italy by Mussolini. And that just happened a few other places, too, because even as an occultist, you're going to have limits. And Crowley wanted this so-called balance because he was a Libra and his moon was in Pisces. Pisces deals with mysticism, the occult, and Libra, of course, Ma'at, the scales. So he didn't realize that when he was getting sued, because this is what really diminished his savings, is because he was too busy fighting in court. And he ended up dying in his mid-70s in a boarding house. And the only thing that really kind of prolonged that 
as far as him having a little people that could help him, that's that's the only thing because his savings were gone. And one of his last disciples, Kenneth Grant, really was an intern working for free. But Crowley's thing was, you work for me for free, you be my secretary, I'll teach you magic. Lastly is the tragedy of Jack Parson, who ironically was also a Libra. And his moon also was in Pisces. So his sun was Libra, moon was in Pisces. So what had happened with him is that he lost his job working for NASA because we have to remember there are occult think tanks and they don't care about dabblers or people who just want to do sex orgies and all that. What happened with Parsons when he was summarily dismissed, he was working for movie companies, but he was trying to get a job in Israel. And even when it was proven that he was not selling American or government secrets, the one thing that happened in Jack Parsons' case, they were like, you're a friend of Alistair Crowley's, aren't you? Now, remember, Crowley also was considered a spy. That's what he was considered. And working either against or for the Nazis. So what they did with Parsons was like, you're a friend of Alistair Crowley's, aren't you? And you are into this whole sex magic thing. Parsons already knew. So your reputation is everything. And then this is some things that I want to help you with. And this can be used for good or bad. This is entirely up to you. But if you ever want to get an understanding of how to deal with a person metaphysically or even just to do workings against them, study their natal chart. This will help you greatly. Study a person's natal chart. And also when it comes to reputation, even if people don't know you, the one thing that governments, religions, or even sociopolitical neophytes do, they operate off of the paradigm of fear. I remember having a conversation some years ago with a Jehovah Witness, and I was really enjoying Earth, Wind, and Fire, just listening to their music. And I looked at them, and they were just like in shock. And I'm like, well, why don't you want to listen to Earth, Wind, and Fire? And the retort was from the person was, they're into black magic. Because you have to remember something. The Egyptian pantheon or the nether, they're considered demons. Now, was Maurice White an occultist? Yes, he was. And so was Philip Bailey and Verdeen White and etc. Yes, they were. But just because you're an occultist doesn't mean that you are somebody that is working towards the detriment of humanity and society. And that's why reputations, they can either help you or they can hurt you. Something to ponder. So with that, that is your meat and potato sourcing for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.